and gentlemen, are you ready? Please welcome Nakam. Are you ready to be blessed? Are you ready to experience the magic of praise and worship? Or are you ready to experience the magic? The power of God through evangelist rock. The power of God through evangelist rock. for being here this evening this here is consuming fire radio that you're listening to and i am your uh, host of the broadcast evangelist mike bradford and we have this evening all the way from nairobi uh, not nairobi but kenya africa uh apostle i mean yes apostle daniel and we're going to bring him on here in just a minute i just want to let everybody know that God is in control and I'm going to open up with prayer here and then we're going to bring our guest speaker on Apostle Daniel in Jesus name from Kenya and Father God we just right now we just come to you asking that your will would be done here in this broadcast of the leading of the Holy Ghost would take place and this minister of the gospel will be able to minister freely in the spirit and by the spirit of the living god of the holy ghost in jesus name i bind every demon in hell that is trying to come against this broadcast in any way you have no authority whatsoever in jesus blessed name so you loose this broadcast right now in jesus name i loose the holy ghost upon the hearts of the people to prepare the way of this message that Apostle Dan- uh, Daniel will be bringing here this evening in Jesus blessed name amen and amen uh, dear sir Apostle Daniel it is all I'm turning the service over to amen. you this time good evening and good morning to you go ahead hallelujah God bless you this is this Apostle Daniel from Kenya and God bless you big um I love you all that are listening to this radio. Uh, we are going to bring you a message about the Holy Spirit in a short time, and then uh, we'll pray together with you. Uh, expect great power of God healing as you listen to this message, and I believe that God's going to touch you, touch your family, and set your family free from every powers of the enemy. And this is the most day you are so much blessed, and you are highly favored. God bless you. Uh, I want to bring you this message um, on the Holy Spirit and these last days we are living in. And, uh, most of the people don't really understand uh, the power of the Holy Spirit in our time. But the Spirit of God is much needed uh, in the hearts of the believer to conquer the world and the last in need. Because the devil is coming up with every uh, conspiracy, a lot of words and evil, spirit of lies. The only way we can overcome the enemy is when we have got the Spirit of God in us. I want you to turn with me uh, in the book of uh, Ephesians. The book of Ephesians chapter chapter 4. And uh, we are looking in, in verse 30, chapter 4, verse 30. The Bible says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby you are sealed up. You are sealed unto the day of redemption. The word of God says that grief not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Clear word here is this. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit of God. In other words, the Holy Spirit is the seal in our heart. We are living in the times of the end time where Jesus can come at any time. Jesus can come at any time. And because Jesus Christ is going to come at any time, we have the mark of Christ. The mark of Christ is the Spirit of God. The Bible says that it is a seal. The word seal means a mark. 
look with me in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. The Bible says, in whom you are also trusted in after you have, you have heard the gospel of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also that you are believed, you are, you are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. The devil, many people, they're talking about the seal or the mark of the devil. In the times of the end we are living in. But listen careful. There is also a seal, the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ in our hearts. This is the Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is a seal in this generation. When you are sealed in your heart with the Holy Spirit, then the Bible says that you are of Christ. And the Bible says that them that they don't have the Spirit of God, they are not of Christ. So you need to be sealed with the Spirit of God in your heart. This is a true mark of God. Can you turn in the book of Revelation? The book of Revelation with me, the book of Revelation chapter 7, whereby it's talking about the end time we are living in. Because if we don't understand the times, we are going to do some errors, never understanding what God's about to do with us. Check with me in the book of Revelation chapter 7. And we look at verse 2 and verse 3. He says this, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to heart the earth and the sea. Verse 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, until we have sealed the servant of, of our God in their foreheads. He's saying that the angel came with a seal. And when he came with a the seal, there were some angels being assigned to do something. But he said, no, don't touch anything until the people of God, the servants of God are sealed. The servant of God are sealed in their foreheads. The seal is a mark, a mark in the hearts of the believer. He's talking about the Holy Spirit, as we saw in the book of Ephesians. Friends, listen. If we are going to achieve and we are going to win and we are going to overcome, then we must have the Spirit of God in us. The Spirit of God is the seal in this end time whereby trust must seal our hearts with the same seal in our spirit that we shall live to overcome. Your life cannot be a blessing in this earth when you are saved without the Spirit of God. Allow the Spirit of God to enter into you. And how can you receive the Holy Spirit of God into your life? Friend, listen. You've got to have, to have hunger, trust in your spirit of the Spirit of God to come into you. Many people are in the church. This is the reason of having a lukewarm church in this generation. Many people want good teachings, and good teachings is good. But listen, when you don't have the Holy Spirit of God, you shall be deceived. Remember the book of Matthew chapter 24. The first, the, the first uh, word that Jesus said about the coming of Christ, he said that be careful that you, de you, you, do you be not deceived. Be careful that you are not deceived. How? When you don't have the Spirit of God, you will be deceived. Because the Spirit of God is a teacher. He's going to teach you. He's going to empower you. He's going to hold you. He's going to help you in your prayers. The Bible says the, the Spirit of God is our intercessor. He helps us in our weakness. So when you receive the Spirit of God, you are going to be mighty in prayer. And you are going to be touched by the, by the Spirit of God in His Word. Remember, the Spirit of God is the author of the Bible. So if you're going to understand the Word of God, then you're going to have, you're going to receive the Spirit of God, and He's going to give you the revelation of what He wrote in the Bible. You are going to overcome. When you have the Spirit of God, you are going to be an overcomer. You are going to win. You are going to see the glory of God when you have the Spirit of God inside you. The anointing of God is going to flow upon you. Friend, when the Spirit of God comes fully in your life, your life will be marvel. You're going to be a blessing. You're going to live free. You're going to see the glory of God in fullness. For the Spirit of God has come upon your life. Look at the Bible. When the people of God receive the Spirit of God in their life, their life never remains the same. 
And I want to challenge you at this time. The times you are living in is the time that Jesus can come at any time. And remember, the devil is deceiving the world. The last in me and everything that is in the world. Listen, friend. Whenever you are listening to this message, receive the Spirit of God in your heart. Have hunger and thirst in your spirit to receive him. He said in the book of Matthew, Blessed are they that are hunger and they that are thirsty for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Friend, if you want to be filled, have hunger and thirst inside you, for you shall see the glory of God in fullness. No disease that can resist the power of God. When the Spirit of God comes into you, when he comes into your life, there's no disease that the Spirit of God cannot heal. Every disease, every sickness, and every trouble you are going through, I want to remind you that when you receive the Spirit of God, it won't remain the same again. The Holy Spirit will help you to lift your faith in Christ, and there shall be fire burning in your spirit, that no demon can stop you, and no Satan can hold you back. You are going to step right into your blessing, for the doors are going to be opened for you, and you are going to see great things happen for you. God loves you so big. The love of God is to have you in heaven. But listen, when you are living without the Holy Spirit of God, you are going to be easily to walk in the flesh. But when you receive the Spirit of God, you are going to walk in the Spirit. He's going to teach you to walk in the Spirit. And when you walk in the Spirit, nothing can be impossible with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is very powerful. Listen, friend. The Spirit of God is very powerful. When it comes unto you, your life cannot be the same again. Every fear will be disabled. Every trouble will be disabled in your life. And you are going to see great things happen with you. There is healing in the power of the Spirit of God. When you're receiving, healing is going to come into your body. There's going to be great things and great challenge in your life. Everybody will see you, that you are shining for the glory of God has covered you. The Spirit of God is so powerful. And that's why when you have hunger and thirst in your heart to receive the Spirit of God, you will never remain the same again. Every disease in your body is going to leave you. And every pain and every regret and every failure is going to be disabled in your life. You'll never be a failure again. The word says you are the head and you are not the tail. The word says all coins and silver belongs to God. And I'm talking to you that you're going through some circumstances right now. You're going through pain, the problem in your marriage, the problem in your work. The problem in your health, allow the Spirit of God to come in. If the trouble you're going through is going to be solved by the power of God. If you want a solution, a long life solution, that you're going to be free, then allow the Spirit of God to come into you. Remember, it is a prophetic word. The word says this in the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 28. But when the later days we are living in, the Spirit of God is going to be poured upon the young men, women, and men. And they are going to prophesy. They are going to prophesy. They are going to see vision. And they're going to receive dreams from heaven. The dreams to the revelation. The spirit of God in this end time, in the prophetic timeline, it shows us that when we are having the spirit of God, we are going to have a vision. And remember the word says, without a vision, the people perish. When you receive the Spirit of God, friends, you are going to have a vision. When you have a vision, you won't perish. And you are going to come into your success. Most of you, you're listening to me. I imagine what you're going through in your marriage. Imagine what you're going through in your finances. Imagine what you're going through in your life. You want to cry. There's a lot happening to you. This is the reason of many people are committing suicide. Listen, when you receive the Spirit of God, You'll never do such kind of a thing. Why? The glory of God shall cover you. And the anointing of God shall walk into you. And you shall receive peace in fullness. Your marriage shall be healed when you receive the Holy Spirit of God. Your marriage shall be healed for you shall come in with power, with conviction, and great favor, with great grace in your life. You shall never 
remain the same again. God loves you so much. And this time, be ready for great things to happen to you. I imagine what you're going through right now, but I expect great things to happen to you. Be sealed in your heart with the Spirit of God right now. Are you ready to receive the Spirit of God into your life? Be ready right now to be touched. Open your heart to Him and let your spiritual eyes be open right now. And let spiritual ears be open right now and receive unlimited blessing and abundance in your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God loves you. You are going to come out of this circumstance you have been going through. What you have been going through, this is the time right now to be set free. Free completely from every trouble, every disease, every problem, every marriage problem. This is your time. I'm speaking to you. Receive your healing. Receive your peace. Receive your marriage solution. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the anointing of God flow from this radio into your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, believe with me right now. You who are who, who you are suffering, you who are tormented, and you who are passing through a lot. This is the time right now. Can we pray with you? Receive. Expect great things right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray with you right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to this man and this woman. I speak healing in her body, in his body right now. Touch their life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the glory of God to cover them. My God, I command every demonic power and every evil spirit that's been fighting their life. I command it in the name of Jesus Christ to live their life live their marriage yeah. live the family in the name of jesus christ receive your peace receive the power of god in your body be filled by the holy spirit power of god right now i set you free from whatever you're going through right now may the peace and anointing of god work in you be touched right now in the name of jesus christ be you anointed in this time i speak financial breakthrough i speak sound health i speak restoration whatever you have lost in your life i command it by the anointing of god to be recovered right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i speak life into you i speak sound health in your body i speak restoration in jesus name i speak the open heaven upon you in the name of jesus christ i declare the open heaven upon you be you set free in every circumstance in this day. Be you anointed. I speak the glory of God into you. In Jesus' name, your marriage be healed. Your family be healed. Your work be healed. I command restoration and financial breakthrough. I love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. My name is um, Apostle Daniel Masika from Kenya. God bless you and keep you. Follow us on this radio. Expect great things to happen to you. In Jesus' name, bye-bye until next day. Much love. Bye for now. Amen and amen, dear brother. If you could, the people that are listening out here uh, this evening or this morning, wherever they are. Are you there? Be, uh, could you give out your uh, email address and, and how people can get to your PayPal account or how they want to give... A donate into your ministry that you have and your website all right can I can I give you my website yes just give it out over the airwaves all right my my website address is www.voiceofgodrevivalministries.org I repeat www Voice of God Revival Ministries dot org. The email address is Daniel Masika zero seven at yahoo dot com. Can I give you uh, this um, email address uh, slowly so they can put it down? You can send your donation on PayPal on this same email. Write down D A N I E L M A S I K 
ka07 at yahoo.com. God bless you. Much love. Yes, and I thank you, uh, dear pastor. I tell you that, I mean, Apostle, that was an awesome message. And if you would, I'm going to uh, be right back with you. You just stay on the, uh, Skype if you would. And I'll be, we'll be right back. And I thank you, everybody, for tuning in here this evening, Consuming Fire Radio. Thank you for listening. This has been a Consuming Fire Radio audio productions.